Okay, so now for the loading dose and maintenance dose equations. The loading dose tells us how much of a drug we need to give in a single dose to reach a certain target concentration. The first thing to realize about the loading dose is that its units are given in mass. For example, milligrams. The equation is given by the plasma concentration that we wish to achieve, P standing for plasma, times the volume of distribution for that particular drug, divided by the bioavailability of that drug. Bioavailability is a fraction and therefore has no units. It tells us what fraction of our drug actually makes it into the plasma. Of course, when we give a drug by IV, 100% of the drug enters the plasma, and therefore the bioavailability is 1. When a drug is taken orally, however, some of it is metabolized and rendered inactive by the liver. This may sound familiar. It is known as first-pass metabolism. In that case, only a fraction of administered drug actually reaches the plasma. For example, if we know that 40% of a drug is metabolized by the liver, then only 60% enters the plasma, and hence our bioavailability would be 0 0.6. In the examples here, we'll just assume that we're giving the drug by IV. Now suppose we have a drug and we want its plasma concentration to be 0 0.1 milligrams for every milliliter of plasma. This would be our target concentration. And suppose we also know that the volume of distribution for this drug is 5 liters, or 5,000 milliliters. We're giving the drug by IV, so the bioavailability is 1, and canceling our units and carrying out the equation, we see that the loading dose must be 500 milligrams. Now, of course, once we put a drug into the body, the body will begin metabolizing it, and thus we need to give more drug every so often to maintain our target concentration of 0 0.1 milligrams per milliliter. And this is where our maintenance dose comes in. The equation for maintenance dose is given by the target plasma concentration multiplied by the clearance of that drug divided by the bioavailability. Again, let's assume that we're giving our maintenance dose by IV and bioavailability is 1. We said that our target concentration is 0 0.1 milligrams per milliliter. And let's say that the body clears the plasma of this particular drug at a rate of 50 milliliters per minute. Again, clearance is telling us how much of the plasma is completely cleared of the drug per unit time. In this case, 50 milliliters of plasma is completely cleared of the drug per minute dividing by our bioavailability and canceling out our units and carrying out the equation, we see that the maintenance dose is 5 milligrams per minute. Notice here, for maintenance dose, our units are given in mass per unit time. So in summary, to maintain a plasma drug concentration of 0 0.1 milligrams, per milliliter with a clearance of 50 milliliters per minute. We need to give our patient 5 milligrams of the drug every minute. And we can do this using an IV drip. Finally notice that in patients with renal or liver disease, the two organs which are primarily responsible for drug metabolism and excretion, we would need to adjust our maintenance dose. Namely, we would need to decrease it because we would expect the rate of clearance for a drug to be impaired or decreased. Note, however, that the loading dose is unchanged, and this is because loading dose is not concerned with clearance. It's only concerned with our target concentration and the volume of distribution for that drug, neither of which are affected in renal or liver disease.